So the first message that I'm getting is to protect your foundations, protect your energy space. I, I also heard to be mindful of the company you keep. I feel like you've been around someone just recently or, or are about to be. And there's something within their energy that fights with something in your energy. I'm hearing something about stagnation. Truth seekers, I just heard. Something about birds flying in the sky, soaring in the sky. I just heard set sail. Butterfly in the sky. You can fly twice as high. I just heard that. Reading rainbow. <laughs> This song was the jam. <laughs> Something about speaking a truth. Fighting over. Mm, I'm hearing mental conflict. So the fighting could be. E wow. Internal. I was going to say the fighting could be eternal. You don't want that. Don't fight eternally. <laughs> Take a chill pill. I've seen someone offering. Like, I, I get a sense of trying to have a conversation with someone. But the person that you're trying to have a conversation with is a little bit more closed minded than you are. Because you aren't closed minded, of course. But this person, I wouldn't say closed minded. I would say narrow minded. Yeah. Mm. I'm hearing something about karmic judge, ju <laughs> justice and judgment. Karmic justice and karmic judgment. But they're both coming out as meaning that some sort of karmic debt is being paid. But I'm hearing it's being paid to you. There was something that was worrying you. There may have been multiple situations that were worrying you or stressing you or causing anxiety. And even though these things may, made you feel a certain type of way, you are still moving forward at a steady pace, at a steady rate. I'm hearing bare naked, authentically, authentically true. Something about horses may be significant, lions. I just heard lions and tigers and bears, so oh much. I just heard the road was rough. I'm hearing rough and tough. And now I'm hearing, I rock rough. And stuff with my afro puff. Hey, rock on with your bad self. Hmm. I'm hearing something about some sort of truth being offered. Some exchange of truths between two people or two energies. This was this is a destined encounter. This could be business or pleasure. I'm feeling this energy. I'm getting picking up this energy again about uh, mental conflict. It's like you have to like purposely balance out 
the positive and negative thoughts within your mind. You actively combat all the negativity with positivity. And it's balancing you out. It might not feel like it sometimes, but you're doing a good job. You're doing better than you give yourself credit for. You don't give yourself enough credit. Or maybe you're starting to give yourself more credit now. I just heard to keep going. Keep going. So, yeah. Let's see. Any more messages? Forward movement. Okay. Moving forward. In a balanced, your, your energy feels pretty balanced. Or at least you give off a balanced energy. I do feel, though, that I'm hearing that, that old school gospel song, Burdens Down. Bur Burdens Down, Lord. Burdens Down, Lord. Yeah, um. But um, I feel like after like a stage of like dealing with so much, I'm even getting an energy of like you deal with your stuff, your family stuff, your friends stuff. Like you, you just deal with a lot of people's stuff, even work, even work. Mermaids may be significant, the little mermaid. Hmm. I just heard I'm, I'm coming in hot. Someone's coming in. I, I don't know. It could be love. It could be business. But someone's coming in. Someone's rushing in. I just heard fools rush in. But like I've been every time I get the word fool now, I don't get the energy of like, you know, the negative connotation of fool. I get th that energy of the tarot meaning of fool, which is like taking chances, taking leaps of faith, stepping out of a comfort zone. Someone's going to step out of a comfort zone for you, towards you. Or maybe this is you taking steps towards someone or something. I see a lot of abundance. It's like after going through so much, you may have your moments where you just feel like things aren't going to be as good as you would hope them to be. You like you hope for the best, but you're prepared for, you know, not the best. But I feel I really feel that greatness is ahead of you. It's ahead for you. Uh -uh. <laughs> Not the confirmation growl. <laughs> but yeah. I keep feeling like there are some there are some thoughts that I don't know, like maybe maybe there's some idea that you've been like juggling around trying to perfect it or tailor it for something but i feel this i feel a breakthrough in that energy if you haven't been able to figure something out i feel you stepping into an energy of problem solving so just be patient with yourself give yourself some grace and just you know try to go with the flow okay I feel like there's another round of messages before I get into the love messages and sign off. <laughs> I've been picking up the word in the energy of nostalgia today. Reminiscing. I just heard that um, I'm torn in between the Cause I really want to be with you But sometimes 
tell me actually you were wrong. Like, hmm. I'm just going to channel the song. I'm going to leave the energy alone. But there's someone's energy. Could be you. Could be someone's energy towards you. It Or it could just be like, because I am picking up on like an, an, another person, another energy. So this could be someone that is heavily in your energy or heavily in this other person's energy. Like, Someone's heavily in your energy, but then someone is heavily in the person's energy that's in your energy. If that, if that, it's like an A, B, and a C. You're A. Person B is in your energy, but person C is in person B's energy. So it's coming out here. If that makes sense, I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> it still feels like there's like an, an outside energy interfering in some way. I'm feeling an energy of like charging forward, but like in defense mode. Defending something. I see like, you know, you know, on the Lord of the Rings, every time they're about to battle, you know, each, each opposing side, you know, they're opposite each other. And then all of a sudden, the general is like, or the, you know, they're like, charge, you know, go for it. And then the, they just start to, you know, that I'm seeing that. And I just heard Clash of the Titans. I'm feeling like there's some sort of com comparison. I don't know. I'm just feeling some comparison energy or maybe copycat energy. I don't know, but it feels more like a comparison or a competition. A, a, hmm. I feel, in, okay, so a scenario that I am picking up <laughs> is that there is someone that's juggling two different energies, maybe two di different people, two different, two different job offers. Just someone is juggling something like mentally, physically, emotionally. I don't know, but someone's juggling something, two different energies. Weighing the pros and the cons. Not willing to accept anything other than like some, someone wants something to look a certain way before they accept it or offer it. I mean, it's your thing. Do what you want to do. Just as long as it feels right for you and good for you. You know, be authentic. To thine own self, be true. I yeah, but there's some conclusion coming. You know, you're going to make a decision soon or you already have made a decision. It's something that is going to grow into to something big, something beautiful. You're going to make the right choice. Just trust yourself. Go with your intuition. Go with that gut feeling. Don't let anyone sway you in a certain direction. Because then you only, you'll only have yourself to blame that you let somebody else change your mind or let someone talk you into or out of something. Make your own decisions. Think for yourself. I just heard there is no reward without risk. The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. I just um, heard with great power comes great responsibility. To, to whom much is given, much is tested, much is required. Yeah, I think that's I think that's it. Okay, so let's get to these love messages. What's going on in the love department?
I'm hearing that song. Take our time, baby, cause it's only right. We just need to take it slow so that we can both flow on the same tempo. I don't remember who sang that song. Changing Faces, I think. Same tempo. I know it was on the Baby Boy, uh, the Baby Boy soundtrack. That was a that was a jam. But I feel like there there is something, someone, there's someone because we're 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 in the love part of the reading. There is someone coming in or already in. It just depends on where you are. You you know, use your discernment. But there's someone coming in and it's going to be very passionate, very spicy, very fiery. But there's going to need to be some refraining from sexual encounters. It's not time for that yet. I do feel that it's when it is time for it, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be the best feeling you have ever felt before. But wait on it. Don't rush it. It's going to be even better. The longer you wait, the greater it'll be. Just saying. And you're not waiting to test people or to, you know, what it entice people. You're waiting because you're trying to get the feel of the energy of this other person without sex becoming involved. You want to get the energy of people intimately as far as, you know, connecting spiritually and mentally, physically. That's easy. That's an easy way to connect. That's an easy. No, don't go the easy route. Not this time. Not with this one. This one's different. Okay. <laughs> I think I heard two cards. I just heard if you feel unsure about any connection, just ask your, your spirit team to, to help you, to assist you, or to give you signs. So... Okay, so a main energy that I'm feeling is that this love connection has not happened yet in the 3D, in your reality, your waking reality, it hasn't happened. Maybe for some of you in the spiritual realm, but like the dream realm, but in, you know, in the 3D, you guys aren't in connection yet, or you aren't in like a, a steady connection at least. I feel this energy of I, I'm I'm getting a there's a separation of something of someone maybe someone is separating from like feelings you know from an old relationship like not what's the word I'm trying I'm. I'm feeling the feels, but I'm trying to articulate it. It's like healing from a, a broken heart, healing from a past love. And I feel as though there is children involved in some, some way, maybe even a divorce. I even just heard um, like a couple is parting because of some inconsistency about children or some, I don't know. I, I don't know. Mm -mm. But yeah. Okay. So on the other hand, we have 
true love. Like you're you and this person aren't in contact, but this is a divine connection. This is <laughs> this is like a love of a lifetime. That 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 phrase love of a lifetime keeps coming up. So when this union finally happens, mm, mm, mm. All I want just come come back to this video. Come to any video and leave a comment and let me know. Email me or something because I love a good love story. And this is a good love story. The energy just feels so authentic. It feels like fairy tale, but it's it's authentic. It's not fake. You know how <laughs> people love is not a fairy tale you know love doesn't always have happy endings and things like that but this love right here child this the 55 years strong type of marriage right here yeah so those are all the messages that i have for you i thank you all so much for being here don't forget to check the description box and i send you all so much love and so much light Namaste. Um,